It's Wednesday, September 17th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. Well, folks, the feds have done it again, this time using up to $85 billion in loans to rescue AIG, yet another company crucial to this country's economy that you were vaguely aware of but knew little about because you only focus on political minutia and are largely ignorant of the wider world. And by you, I mean me. Fortunately, we have such a huge government surplus, we can easily afford to keep bailing out all these companies. Hey, since we've got the cash, maybe we can bail out sitcoms that we all agree deserve to stay on the air. And yes, fiscal conservatives, using earmarks to fund the Arrested Development movie is a totally responsible use of taxpayer money. Moving on, John McCain may not use the internet with the exception of a Google to find his running mates, but apparently he did have a hand in inventing the ubiquitous BlackBerry wireless device. When asked how his work as chairman of the Senate Commerce Committee helped John McCain understand financial markets, McCain advisor Douglas Holtz Eakin held up his BlackBerry saying he did this. So basically, John McCain, through telecom legislation, helped to bring this miracle of modern life into being. But what happened next was just offensive. The McCain campaign quickly tried to pass this off as a bit of humor gone awry, saying that the Blackberry comment was just a boneheaded joke. Oh, really? Boneheaded? So now all of a sudden it's okay to make fun of people because they just happen to wear decorative bones in their hair and they're dedicated to the art of showbiz comedy? This is nothing more than a cartilage nose smear. But of course McCain couldn't invent a Blackberry. Clearly his skills are more managerial. A more apt analogy would be to say not that he could invent technology, more like he could run a technology company. Or not. McCain surrogate and former CEO of Hewlett Packard Carly Fiorina said yesterday that Sarah Palin doesn't have the ability to run a major company, but that also John McCain couldn't either, and neither could Barack Obama or Joe Biden. But you know what? According to the board of Hewlett Packard, neither could Carly Fiorina. So kids, today's life lesson, everyone is totally incompetent. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash Kotegi for more videos. And don't worry, there's clearly absolutely no confidence required right here on Kotegi TV.